I'm Diana Steele and I'm here at Fresh Street Market in West Vancouver and today I'm talking about spring vegetables and in particular asparagus and spinach. Both of these delicious green vegetables are a source of vitamin C, vitamin A or beta carotene and vitamin K as well as folate and folate is an essential vitamin, it's a B vitamin that we know um, pregnant women need to have in order to prevent neural tube defects. Asparagus in particular has some great phytochemicals, things like rutin and quercetin, which are anti-inflammatory uh, phytochemicals. And um, chronic inflammation has been linked to type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even Alzheimer's. So eating asparagus can reduce your risk for those. There's also something called methionine in asparagus, which some people metabolize. It can actually, when you eat asparagus, cause that smelly urine that some people get, but not everybody. Also a source of glutathione, and glutathione is a very potent antioxidant, has some anti-cancer properties. So eating asparagus may help reduce your risk of cancer. There's also a carbohydrate in asparagus called inulin, and inulin is a fiber that helps it's a prebiotic, which means that it fuels the good bacteria in your colon and can help um, with intestinal health. So eating asparagus is a great vegetable. Now when you're buying your asparagus, there's a couple things to think about. First is look at the tips and make sure that you get a nice firm tip where all the pieces are tightly closed together and compact, not frayed and old like this one. You also want the stem to be nice and green and bright green in color, whereas this one here has some wrinkles in it, so I would avoid that. That just means that it's a bit old. Um, so look Look for a great bunch of asparagus. The fat ones don't necessarily mean that they're more um, tough, actually. You're looking for a bright green color. And when you're um, preparing them, just snap off the woody end um, and then um, go ahead and cook them. Or you can actually cut them. When you're storing them, wrap a wet piece of paper towel around the whole bunch and then put it in your plastic bag. So it'll give it some fluid to drink and it'll keep it nice and fresh and preventing it from drying out. Or you can just trim the ends and stick it in a glass of water in your refrigerator and that will keep it nice and fresh. Now spinach is a very um, excellent source of all kinds of nutrients. It also contains something called lutein, and lutein we know can help reduce the risk of macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness in the elderly. Um, Many people think that spinach is an excellent source of iron, but it's not that great. In the 1930s, we used to say, eat lots of spinach, and I know Popeye was a very big fan, but actually there's oxalates in spinach which bind the iron and make it less available. But slightly steaming your spinach can make the iron a little bit more available, as well as um, making that lutein more available. So um, having it slightly steamed sometimes, as well as raw in your salad, are great options. And then, of course, chives are a really delicious uh, herb that are available in the spring. They're growing in your garden. Actually, people often plant um, chives in their vegetable garden to help repel the pests and attract the bees with those beautiful flowers that bloom in the summer um, in June. So trying to include some of your spring vegetables in your cooking um, these next few weeks would be a great idea and watch for those farmers markets and, and check out your grocery store to see what's on special. Thank you, Diana. If you have other questions for Diana, give her a call at 604-739-3290 or you can go to her website, eatingforenergy.com and you can follow her on Twitter at Eating for Energy.